Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rishi Labs. In today's video, we will see how to download and install NetBeans. So before we download NetBeans software, we need to install Java first, then set Java environment variable path. And after that, we are going to install the NetBeans. So let's get started. You will require a web browser. I'll make use of Google Chrome. In address bar, you need to type Oracle Java and press enter you will get the first link java software click on it so oracle.com it's an official website from where you can download java setup file click on download java scroll down you can see while making this video java 23 is available scroll down a bit over here you can see there is a windows tab click on it you need to click on the second link x64 installer click on this url it is going to start download of id once the setup file is downloaded click on open you will get a pop up select yes i'll just minimize the web browser the installation has started for the java click on next you can change the default directory for java installation but I'll go with the default path, click on next. So installation is completed. You can see Java SE development kit 23 successfully installed. I'll click on close. So from the steps, we have completed the first step that is installation of Java. Now we are going to set environment variable. Click on file explorer. Go to this PC, C drive program files look for java folder jdk23 bin okay now select this path do a right click copy i'll close the screen click on windows start in search you need to type environment environment variables you can get this edit system environment variables click on it Click on environment variables button over here. Now on this page, under system variables, look for path, click on edit, click on new, do a right click and paste. Over here we are pasting the Java bin directory path. Once you have included that path, click on OK, click on OK and click on OK. Now to check Java environment variable path is configured properly or not. To do that, click on Windows start, type CMD in search, click on open. Over here, you need to type the command Java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Now you will see the Java version that we have installed Java 23. Then you can also see Java runtime environment has also got installed along with it. You can check the build version of it. So whenever you install JDK, it also installs the Java runtime environment. I'll close this. So from these steps, we have completed first two, that is installation of Java. And second, we have also set the Java environment path. Now we are going to install the NetBeans. We'll go back to our browser. In the next tab, Type NetBeans download and press enter. You'll get the first page Apache NetBeans releases. Click on it. At this moment, Apache NetBeans 23 is available to download. Click on download button. Over here, you will see installer and packages. In this, select the first link Apache NetBeans 23 bin Windows 64.exe. Click on it. Click on this first link. It will download the Apache NetBean setup file. Setup download has got completed. Now click on open. You will get a pop up select yes. I'll close the web browser as we don't need it. So this has started the installation. So on this page, you can see the installer will install the NetBeans ID with the following packages and runtimes. Okay. Now click on next. Click on I accept the terms in the license agreement. Click on next. On this page, you can see the first path 
is where the Apache NetBeans ID will be installed. And the second part is for the JDK. So we have already installed the Java. And this is the same directory location. If you have installed it on any another location other than C, you can give that path over here. Okay. So it has auto captured the Java JDK path which we have installed. So we will not make any change and proceed. Click on next. You can see total installation size required. Then click on install. NetBeans installation has completed successfully. I'll click on finish. You can see here a desktop icon has got created. To open NetBeans, you can click on Windows Start. In search, you can type NetBeans. You'll get the app icon. Click on open. Other way, you can double click the NetBeans desktop icon. This will launch the NetBeans IDE. That's how the interface looks. I'll maximize the screen. Click on file new project to work on the java project click on java with maven and select the java application then click on next now on this page you can provide your project name i'll type my project so i've entered my project as a project name you can give any other name in this is a project location where all the files will be stored it's a group id i'll go with the default version also i'll go with the default this is the package name if you want you can change it it's optional click on finish all right on the left side you can see your project my project then this is the my project dot java main file now to execute this once we execute what it is going to do you can see the simple statement over here system.out.println it is going to print the text hello world okay and this is the my project.java file now to run this click on run project you can see here build has succeeded and the message hello world has got print you can also create a new java file under this package do a right click new java class and click on finish see a new java file has got created you can type your code and you can execute so i'll close this for now so we have completed installation of java also set up java environment variable path and we have also installed netbeans post that we also saw how to create a java file we also saw how to execute that file thanks for watching guys you can subscribe to my youtube channel rishi labs thank you